<laughs> I am. I'm driving over. Uh, as soon as we finish this, I'm driving from Adelaide to Sydney to to um, set up the um, the studio in Sydney. Um, yeah, and uh, then we've got Brian Lee, who is the studio manager in Melbourne. Who is my mic? Yep, my wax working. We're good. What's that? Is my mic working? Yeah, I guess. You yeah, we can hear. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. No, Hello. all good. So yeah, um, yeah. Brian's Brian's going to be studio manager of the Melbourne office, and and Tim will be studio manager of the the Sydney office. So um, that will be your kind of you know for everyone here that's attending the Melbourne or Sydney campus, um, they'll be the person that's in the room with you. Um, we'll be beaming in the classes, so you'll kind of have like a teacher that um, might be in Adelaide, might be in China, might be in Sydney or Melbourne. Um, all the classes will be beamed in. And what we really want is for you guys to be in the classroom. So come to the class, um, you know, if you can, if you're not sick and all those sorts of things, um, come to the class. The The class will be kind of like beamed in via Teams, um, but then you'll have uh, Brian and Tim in the room with you helping you guys out. Um, yeah, and we really want to try and create like a bit of a community with the, the Sydney and Melbourne um, campus. Um, and, you know, hopefully make it a really um, awesome experience for you guys. Um, in Melbourne, we've got one teacher, Rebecca, who is from Melbourne. Um, so she'll be teaching classes there. Currently, we don't have any instructors um, that are in Sydney. Um, so all of those ones will be kind of beamed in, but but Tim will be there and stuff to, to help you guys out. Um, can I can I just make a comment on that, Simon? I think, yeah, go for it. I think it's... Uh, I think it's going to be very tempting to not come in, especially on a day when it's raining or, you know, you've slept in or whatever. But it's, I think it's really important that you guys uh, are in the room together. I think you'll find that the energy that you create being together, the camaraderie, um, is just going to make everything uh, for the next three years a lot easier. And you realise that next year at least, maybe next semester, but definitely next year, there's going to be um, more students in the space with you as well so it won't take long before you feel like um you, you know it's not we're not the satellite to adelaide adelaide we are sydney and you know melbourne and, and adelaide are our brothers and sisters um i think it's going to be really important so get that into your heads now uh, and I'm, I'm talking to both Sydney and Melbourne. I hope you don't mind, Brian, talking on your behalf. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, you definitely get that into your head now that the idea of community and being together is going to create an energy and a camaraderie that's going to absolutely help propel you through what's actually going to not be, it's going to be great fun, but it's also going to be a challenging, you know, three years. So get that into your head now that this is where you need to be and these are your people that you need to be with um, and that I'm, there and Brian's there to to make sure that you have the space to work in in a in a really great way. And I can't sit here with my face on the computer and not say something. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll shut up now. No, that's great. Thanks, Tim. And and yeah, we're really we're really all on the same page about this, guys. Like you're coming in um, really at that the um you know <laughs> kind of base camp. And, um, and, you know, we really want to grow this. Um, one of the things I was talking about to, to everyone in the, in the first session is, like, you could actually do one year in Adelaide, one year in Melbourne, and one year in Sydney. Like, that's actually <laughs> kind of possible, which kind of, I guess, blows people's brains. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, but it's pretty cool that, you know, we're, we're able to offer something like that to, to students. Um, yeah, and it's definitely going to be um, – we'll be kind of starting pretty small in, in Melbourne and Sydney, but, you know, we think that these um, – uh, these uh, facilities are going to grow um, pretty quickly. Hey, Lilith, uh, we've just, uh, because you've studied previously, we've just putting through um, what you uh, what you applied for credit for. So you're going to end up enrolling in some slightly different times and topics. So uh, just keep an eye out for an email from Annie. And if you have any questions, just email Simon or I. Um, but you will be on a slightly different timetable. Hi, Lilith. Good to see you again, Lilith. I know Lilith from a uh, previous a uh, previous life. <laughs> um, so it was, it was really nice to yeah, it was really nice to see your name popping up here and there. So looking forward to seeing you, Lilith. 
Yeah, and I think that what what else do we sort of need to go over, Katie? I'm, I'm, my brain's starting to get. Yeah, these oh, are all merging together. You'll have <laughs> me on Wednesdays for from two to four. I've asked for an online only a thousand and three workshop to be made uh, only for Sydney and Melbourne, and we've put that on the same day as one of your boot camp sessions, so that Wednesday you've got like a few hours of class and then an hour or two break and then more class. Uh, the Sydney location is a physical location that you can go to uh, Monday. Yes. Monday. Yep. Yeah, come Monday, it'll be a, a, a physical location. Um, so that's right. So you're probably going to either be enrolling in the specific Sydney Melbourne version for things. There might be a comment in the timetable. And if that's not there, go for online. What you'll find with the CDW topics and a little uh, clue whether or not something has a CDW component. Can you just roll up? See how the second number there is a four? See how it's VED 1402? Anything that starts with VED means it's visual effects and entertainment design. So something that starts with CREA means that it's creative arts. That means it's it's a different kind of section of Flinders. So, but when if, whenever you see a code, if the second number is four, that means there's a CDW component. And all CDW uh, workshops are hybrid. So they're all streamed live as they happen. And there's always people online and there'll be some people in the classroom. So if you're looking at this type of, see how you can choose between character design, digital painting, 3D modeling, 3D animation, matte painting. You're gonna choose by the topic that you want to do. You're not going to choose by the time that you want to do. And please bear in mind, all times will be Adelaide times. And we thought that would be easier for you, given that not all topics are beat topics. So like Korea won't have a Sydney and Melbourne time because it's a it's a different section, if that makes any sense. Because the degrees are made up from a whole bunch of different sections from the uni. Most year topics will be beat. So you're going to choose the time that you want. You don't have to worry that this doesn't specifically mention online. The lecture is going to be recorded so that you can watch it. Not everyone in Adelaide can make it live. Shane's, can you wave? <laughs> the lecturer is waving at you. That's Shane Bevan over there. Uh, so he'll be recording the lecture, and lots of the people who live in Adelaide will be watching the recordings too. You're at no disadvantage there whatsoever. And with these workshops, they will all be hybrid delivery. They'll all be live and online for you at the same time. So you can pick any of those that you want and you don't have to look for a specific Sydney and Melbourne. I've just made a specific Sydney and Melbourne 1003 online workshop. You can't see it yet, but it's there uh, because I only want all of you in it because it's a chance for us to meet one another. So it's going to take a minute for us to, to work things out. But what I started out to say was you're going to see me every Wednesday. So any questions you have about the degree, anything you're not sure about with enrollment, I'll be there in teams with you. Uh, CREA and comms will be purely online for every, uh, some people in South Australia too. There is an online only version of that and that's for everyone. At the moment it's on Fridays. It looked full to me and I mentioned that to Annie. Yeah. But I would say enroll in the topic. Uh, taking comms 1001, it, everyone has to take it. It's what's called a core topic and across the uni people uh, need to, to take it. It's professional communication, which to be completely honest, it's we're doing so much communication now via email, so much written communication. Uh, once you're in a business environment, grammar uh, and, and formatting things correctly, is just incredibly useful. And, and because we're a uni, we just make sure that everyone has uh, this kind of foundation comms topic. You won't do any more of these. It's just in first year, but it's just to make sure that the communication skills are there. If any of you uh, have any, any learning uh, issues such as dyslexia or ADHD, or you have anything like Crohn's disease or any mental health issues, uh, you can make an online appointment with Linder's Health and Counseling. It's covered by Medicare. It doesn't cost you anything. 
and they can write you up what's called an access plan. And the access plan is something that you email to your instructors and it will um, kind of lay out that, that you might be missing a few weeks because you suffer from a chronic illness or that you might need some support from the Student Learning Center uh, or something like that. So if you have any concerns about comms, please let me know. You will be seeing me every Wednesday, uh, except for you, Lilith. The email <laughs> for... Well, uh, Elise, if you send that through. So Lilith, Lilith um, lodged, I think, a, 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 what's called an Ask Flinders. And if you want to apply for credit, you go to you go to Flinders and you type in Ask Flinders and you apply the topic that you want credit for. What we have to do is line up the learning outcomes. So is what you did similar enough? So Lilith could get credit for most first year, but there was nothing just like comms, so she still needs to take comms. Sorry, this is probably more information than you need to know, but this is useful. Yeah, absolutely. You can send any Tavener. Uh, yes, um, uh, Lilith, I'll discuss that. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, the it's called an access plan. Uh, and basically, you just make an appointment with Flinders Health and Counseling. The recording for this after this will be sent out by um, Jasmine. <laughs> We're um, also, guys, um, we've been using a program called Collaborate for about the last five or six years. And we're now moving into Teams. So we're, we're like, we don't know where the recordings go and things like that. So yeah, we'll- Just bear um, with us. Bear with us. We'll, we'll you know, Jasmine, um, we'll send you out the re recordings and things like that. We'll we'll try and communicate with everyone as much as possible and, and get everyone on the on the right page. I can see in the chat, it's going like a hyperspeed at the moment. So <laughs> lots, of, lots of questions. Um, I did notice, Annie, you said about um, if um, people enrolling in Korea, um to enroll in the online one but if it's full what do they do annie uh i think stay in it because i'm we're probably going to be able to make uh some spaces available i just know some background information that there's a whole lot of students that are probably moving out of it so if you just give us a few days hopefully early next week we should have that sorted so but please enroll because it tells us um how many of you there are and how, how many places we need to make available so enroll and i will be in touch in some way next week when we have those places free and we can pop you into them yeah so just enroll in the topic but don't register for the workshop and yep. then you'll know there's a list of 20 people that need somewhere to go right perfect yes i'm yep. on to it <laughs> <laughs> yeah very good no i'm just making that clear for people because yeah they see the okay. full and get a bit um not sure what to do yeah I understand. Yep. Yeah. Um, yes. So Isaac, um, if what we're going to do for you guys is we're getting you to do comms in semester two. All right. We want you to do VED 1003 in semester one because we're doing a specific class for everyone that's in Melbourne and Sydney. Yep. Um, so that it doesn't clash with things. And so that you can come to the class and you're going to do that with Brian or Tim, like in the room with you guys helping you out. Yep. So you'll have Katie in Adelaide and you'll have Brian and Tim in Melbourne and Sydney. Yep. Does that make sense to everyone? I hope. <laughs> yep. So 1003 in semester one, comms in semester two. Um, and if you get credit for comms or whatever, that's fine. Yep. You can, you can not, not have it in semester two, but yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you can set in the system, the certainly in Teams, you can set the time zone that you want to view things in, and you also can in the student system. So our times by default are going to be Adelaide times, and I think you're both a half hour different from us. Is that right? Yep. So basically, if it doesn't end in a 30, you know you're looking at the Adelaide time. You're going to be starting on the half hour, which is hopefully good for parking. <laughs> and Zoe, so Zoe, that was one of the questions I saw earlier was like, um, where's, you know, uh, I think you said something about what classroom will I be in Melbourne? Um, so at the moment for everyone, there is one classroom 
one classroom in Melbourne and one classroom in Sydney. <laughs> All right. So you'll just turn up to the venue and you'll know where to go. Um, you'll see Brian and Tim there and they'll, they'll kind of guide, guide you through everything. Um, on Monday, um, so for everyone that's like a standard first year student, you'll have a lecture with Shane um, on Monday. Do we know what time that is? Uh, well, it's 9 a.m. Adelaide time. Yep, so it'll be 9.30. I'll come up for a um, so, hello, hello. Um, so you'll only see me as a recording on Monday, obviously. Um, that lecture is just literally just a recorded lecture. You can watch it, but you'll see in Canvas, um, I'll actually put a, 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 a um, forum that will allow you to ask any questions you want to, and then I'll get back to you in the forum. So you'll see me as a recording. Um, uh, weirdly, you can watch the recording as it's happening. Um, so if you tune in, you can actually watch that as, as I'm lecturing. You just won't be able to ask me questions. So I'll make sure that there's a, uh, that there's a forum there that you can ask any questions you want. And um, uh, yeah, you, anyone can email me anytime for that, for that topic. Yep, so to answer kind of Zoe's question is that um, you guys, if you want to, you can go in on Monday at 9.30 and all watch the lecture together um, with with Brian and Tim. They'll be, they'll be there and they'll turn the lecture on, the, the big screen, you can do that. Or you can um, you can just watch that lecture at home if you want to on Monday. Um, you're on Tuesday is when you'll have a class with me, boot camp. Um, and that's when, you know, we, we want you guys to come into the room and, and, you know, kind of really start your classes there. So Monday's kind of optional. Um, Tuesday, you will have a class. Um, yeah, hope that sort of makes sense to everyone as well. Um, what are some other things we can go over, Katie? Uh, there's oh, I was going to show this. Later. Joshua Dunn had a question. About when can he choose option topics? So what we recommend, the course code for bootcamp again is 1400. And uh, Simon, could you please just open up? You should be able to see once you've enrolled in a topic, you should be able to see it in Flow, which is Flinders Learning Online. And you should also be able to see your first year topics uh, in, in Canvas, some of them. We're moving the, ver the V topics into Canvas because we're moving learning systems right now. Um, so you've got your, your in-person dates and times there, right? So in-person Melbourne, CBD, set, scroll oh, down. Yep. It's doing its weird thing again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. 10 to 1. So 10 to 1, you'll all be in the same group online, which is Stream Blue, uh, and there will be a, an instructor who's only with the Sydney Melbourne people doing demonstrations for you as you're in their life. Yeah. Yep, so this, this um, the cl class on Tuesday, 10 to 1, that'll be with me. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll be beaming into the room. Now, you guys are never going to be late for classes because it says 10 to 1, but it's actually 10.30. <laughs> yep, so you just got to, um, you got to remember the, uh, got to remember the time difference but once we get into it brian and tim they'll have time tables for you guys you know they'll they'll let you know what times things are stuff like that it'll all, it'll all get clear i'm sure the first week's going to be a bit of a mess <laughs> but but it'll you know you you work it out as it kind of moves forward um the with the korea topic could you please go to korea 1001 So if you look here, so even say, just go to the online one, you can see here that it says tutorial 10th of March. Can you see that on the, on the timetable yeah. there? Yep. Yeah. So if you're still sorting this out next week, it's fine because this doesn't start until the 10th of March. Not all topics start in, in week one. Right. So We've got a week or so to to sort that out. If you go back to boot camp, so just hit that. If you look down at here, 
you'll see that these seminars start on the 28th of February and the 1st of March. So you know when something's going to start by those dates. Do you want to explain the two part? Thing? Yeah, uh, you'll notice in the workshop uh, for workshop two, it looks like there's uh, two different times there. What happens is we have a mid semester break, which is six weeks. So if there's a break, say between 11th and April and 26th of April, that's the same workshop. It's just showing there's two weeks with no class. Good. Uh, all right. People are asking good questions. <laughs> I think we're working on um, a time zone um, solution. Um, I, I think we're trying to get that sorted behind the scenes. So, yeah, ho hopefully we'll be able to get that worked out for you guys. Um, it'll be something that will happen. No, Jasmine's saying, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so it might just always be half an hour different, but maybe one day we'll get it sorted. Yeah. I think over time what will happen is, um, you know, you'll be in a lot of contact with your studio manager in Sydney and Melbourne. So, you know, they'll be able to let you know your times and timetables and things like that. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, we'll ask, will there be charging ports for laptops? Um, yep, 100%. So every desk has got power on it. Um, we were mentioning this in the in the session in the morning, you know, we're expecting people to have big, beefy gaming laptops um, that, you know, go through their battery life in two hours. So we're not like high school where you got to have a 16 hour battery life on things. Um, yeah, you can plug into the power and uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're assuming you guys are going to have, you know, laptops that, that need charging all the time. Um, so that, that's a good question. Um, Let's keep going through all the, the questions here. Yeah, we, we were asked about, you know, doing things traditionally. Um, you'll have figure drawing um, in, that'll be more in semester two. Um, we will have figure drawing sessions in Melbourne and Sydney, but just going to have to allow us a bit of time to get that sorted out. Um, we're actually in Melbourne, we're getting like a facility built for us. Um, so we have like a temporary uh, room. Uh, we'll get the um, we'll get the actual address details to you guys like pretty soon. Um, and uh, yeah, and so there's actually a facility that's being built, um, but we're, we're just going to be in a temporary classroom for the first few weeks. And in Sydney, we're going to be in sort of a temporary classroom for the first semester um, while the while the actual uh, rooms get built. And then in semester two, we'll have like a number of classrooms um, in that space. So that's when we'll be offering kind of like the, the same setup that we have in Adelaide, where on like uh, Friday nights, we do uninstructed figure drawing. So there'll be like extra figure drawing sessions and sketch club and yeah, all those sorts of things. So all of that stuff will come to you guys, you know, probably in semester two as well. So yeah, but you're able to, um, so uh, Brian and Tim, when you get into Melbourne and Sydney, they'll kind of explain to you the opening hours and things like that. Um, it won't be like 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. five days a week. You know, there'll be some slightly different times. They'll let you know when the opening hours are. But in terms of going into the studio, you can be in there anytime you want. So anytime it's open, you can go in there. You can um, take your laptop in. You can do all your homework while classes aren't on. Um, you could basically just be in there during during the days and during when class times are on. Um, that's that's no problem at all. Um, and then um, yeah, as we move forward, you know that that will be probably in semester two and stuff. You know the opening hours will change, but at the start we're just kind of starting off slowly just to get the ball rolling and and um, get you guys all sorted as much as possible. Yep, Dow, that's a, a good question. Uh... Because so many of your topics are online, if you only have a really beefy lap uh, at home uh, version and you don't have a laptop, then the topics where you need something a little bit more beefy, attend them online from home. We do think it's best if people are in the room. Uh, you wouldn't need necessarily a beefy laptop for a lot of the semester one things. Uh, for example, essential multimedia, an iPad, would be fine, you know, and not not super high spec. Uh, once we're doing things like figure drawing, then it's it's pencil and paper. Uh, you may find that you just want to go in sometimes to kind of be with everyone and take some notes and do the majority of your work at home because everything's recorded. So 
So you you can decide how to how to juggle that back and forth. I certainly wouldn't recommend buying a fully spec laptop for the sole purpose of attending class. If you have a full PC at home, you may find you want to do that later. But you know, for now, I would say certainly with the early early lectures, uh, where the lecturers are discussing sort of uh, like Simon's professional practice. That Simon talking about industry, there's a lot of chatting in there. Korea has some theory. You're not going to need a high spec laptop in that. 1003 lecture. There will be times when you'll be fine not having a high spec computer or maybe even a laptop with you. And then there'll be times, say, if you're doing the 3D animation block, you're probably going to want to be at home with your PC. So you're just going to have to uh, kind of work out what works for you with that. Is that correct? Yeah. No, it sound, sounds good. Um, so, yeah, generally in terms of like people bring, bringing tablets, yeah, they bring their own tablet. Um, you can totally just buy like a $100 Wacom tablet from Officeworks, which is fine, um, especially if you've got, you know, like a Cintiq at home or whatever. Um, you can keep your Cintiq at home and then just bring in, you know, the little um, tablet just to draw on while you're in the classes. That's totally fine. Uh, if people want to work on iPads using Procreate, that's all totally fine as well. Um, whatever tools you can, you know, you can use and get together to get the job done, that's all That's all good. And in terms of software as well, um, we basically require students to sort out their own software. Um, so most of your instructors for the 2D classes are going to demonstrate in Photoshop. It doesn't mean you have to use Photoshop. There's no problem with Procreate and Clip Studio Paint, all those things. Um, that That's totally fine. Um, it's more that if you can't do something the instructor's doing in that piece of software, then that's where it becomes like a bit of a problem, okay? Um, but in general, if you want to use like the free versions of software and things like that, that's that's all okay as long as you can get the, the work done that, that you need to. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, in terms of, does that sort of make sense, guys? So, yeah, if you, if you don't have like a super duper laptop, you just bring whatever in into class and then you can go home and do work on the computer. Um, we do have, I wasn't going to mention this, but perhaps I will, is that, and because you guys are going to be a fairly small group, there is no problem with you bringing desktops and stuff in. We, in our student area here at CW in Adelaide, we have like quite a number of students that have their computers here <laughs> and then they, you know, and, and just do work in, in the studio. So you can do that as well. Might not do that at the start, but, you know, I'm sure that you can talk to Brian and Tim and, and um, yeah, it's it, it, that's going to be fine to do as well. So yeah, there'll be plenty of space for you to do that. So you can just work out whatever solution works best for you. We know whether you're bringing an iPad in and you're taking notes and stuff, and then you're going home to get the bulk of your homework done, or whether you kind of want to have a, a nice setup that you can take into class um, and kind of get all of your work done, you know, while you're in the studio. Um, that you know, that's an option too. So yep. Yeah, so Isaac is asking if we can, um, you know, watch classes from home. Uh, yes, you can. Um, certainly, we have we, every class that we have is basically, um, especially from like a CDW point of view, every class we have is always like streamed and it will be on Teams kind of like this. Um, so uh, you, you can um, just watch classes from home. And I mentioned this to everyone in the session before. What we don't want you guys doing is being like i've i'm um i'm playing soccer on you know six till nine on monday nights and so i'm going to watch the class recording back at you know two to five on wednesdays and i'm going to watch it at double speed you know like we don't want you guys doing that so if you're going to be online make sure you're in the session at the at the time the class is being delivered because we do see that too many times where if students are like not actually in the class, they're not engaged with their instructors. It's just not a very good experience. It's not a good experience for the instructor and it's not a good experience for you guys, right? So we've got Brian and Tim on board in Melbourne and Sydney and they really want you guys to come into the studio and be doing all of your work as much as possible in there because they're, 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 they're there to help you guys. So the more you're kind of doing it there, the more you're going to get, you know, um, the more you're going to get help. So, yeah. Um, so there, there's some pretty important questions there about how do they ask questions of the teacher during the lecture. I think, do you, you want to 
talk about that, Simon? Yep. So basically what you do is you'll just be on Teams um, like this. Um, you know, you can, even when you're watching it on the screen, you can still be logged into your Teams on your laptop, right? And then you can ask questions of the instructor, like, because some instructors, even for LA people, they're like in China and that's how we do it. So there's asking questions um, in the chat. The other thing we do is we have, um, we've got Brian and Tim who can relay questions as well, um, you know, because we have mics set up and everything. So they can relay questions. And then we've also got, what else was I going to say? Um, well, you've got me there every Wednesday and I can, I can do questions too. Yep. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to ask questions live um, in the classes. Yep. Um, and th there was a question there about bringing in the PC. Who is that? Leo, Leo I think. Uh, the thing with bringing in your workstation, I think, Leo, and I'm not sure whether you're Melbourne or Sydney, but I think it's going to be the same predicament for both, is that you're then tied to the opening hours of the studio, right? So yep. um, if, uh, if, for example, I'm going to a meeting on a Monday or let's say Friday when there's no lectures and I'm going to a meeting at a studio um, to set up some internships or something and I'm not in until one o'clock, then you won't be able to use your workstation until one o'clock. Um, and when you say you might want to be up late at night, well, I'll be leaving there at like whatever, you know, <laughs> half an hour after the lectures are finished, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, it'll be 9.30 when we shut the place down. We won't be there until midnight. So you're not going to have uh, free reign of the space, unfortunately. So that that's the the thing you have to weigh up about bringing in your own lap or your own workstation is that you're really going to be tied to when the studio is open. Is that right, Simon? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And but I mean the studio will be open uh, like uh, quite a number of hours over the week, so it is it yeah. is sort of possible to do that as well. It's just knowing that that's going to happen. Like that's right. yeah, you can't be working there till three a.m. in the morning because um, Tim will have locked the doors and gone home. That's right. <laughs> and weekends are, are unlikely as well, you know. So if if you're going to be doing your homework on the weekends and you want to do it on that workstation, then that that's you know something to to think about. And yeah, um, Lilith, if because you're doing something that's a little bit different to everybody else, if if you want to, um, yeah, Jas Jasmine will help you. She's just she's just written in the chat. As soon as this finishes, she'll help you. So yeah, so basically, you just contact Jasmine, um, and she'll be able to help you with. But it's you know, Jasmine not the credit. Um, no, but we'll we'll work that out. Yeah. So yeah, all good. Um, Trying to think of other things we went over in the session before. Yeah, that were so 14.02, you're going to need to go into Canvas to watch the lecture. Can you just log into Canvas, please? Or Flow. So the way that I personally tend to find Canvas is Flow is Flinders Learning Online. If you go to flow.flinders.edu.au and there's there's links all through the site in Flinders. Um, go to my flow. Remember, whenever you're logging into anything through Flinders, it's always two factor authentication. Remember to bring your mobile. Because the two factor authentication, if you've forgotten your mobile is no fun at all. And if you can see here right up at the top, it says if you can't find your topic, it may be in Canvas. And just click on the word Canvas there. Right. So uh, could you please click on uh, VEED 1402? That's your first topic. Uh, Shane will be giving a lecture that is recorded. Again, this is one where you don't necessarily, you may want to all be in there to talk at 9 a.m., but given that it's Sydney and Melbourne, I doubt you want to travel all that way to watch a recording, at, 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 even though it's live uh, during peak hour. But anyways, the way, the place that you would find that is here on the menu on the left. You'll see there's something that says lecture recordings about a third of the way down. Right there. And they're there, yep, scheduled. So the links there will become live when they're being recorded and you can just click on them. So that's where you can watch the lectures, I think. Then when you're looking for the content, can you please go under modules? Yep, 
So here, for example, under lecture resources is the introduction slides, the intro, the links, everything that he's going to be hitting in the lecture. Can you please scroll up? Then you've got your CDW resources. So this is where all of your different, you know, your character design, this is where all your different topics are going to be and where you'll access all your CDW resources. So modules is where the content is. Uh, if you're going to do something, we tend to do a lot of grading uh, via discussions. You'll notice uh, if you click on the syllabus. Ooh, it's not in there yet. That's where um, all of your assignments and checkpoints and discussions can be found in live links. So I'll show you this in 1003. But the very first thing you've got at 9 a.m. on Monday is the lecture. So just come into Canvas and have a look at the lecture link. 9.30. Nine 9.30. <laughs> uh, the next thing that you're going to have is going to be boot camp. So Simon, could you please just click on your dashboard? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Flow. Uh, Canvas. Canvas, yep. Yeah. Sorry. And then you're going to be going into 1400. And it says, welcome to boot camp. And then if you go into modules, you are group blue. Uh, can you please scroll down a little bit? And basically you will be doing Keep going. Yeah. Uh, the seminar with Simon on Tuesday, go up. There it is. There's the Team C seminar, professional practice with Simon Scales. So you click on the Teams link to seminar. And that's where Simon will be live. And this is how it will be every single Tuesday. Simon will always be there live. It's the same thing the whole semester. And you can see he's got an outline of his seminar. He's got his weekly briefs and his resources. Uh, then if you're, uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember where Group Blue is starting, but if you're doing 2D Perspective with David Cornish, you can see there you've got Workshop 2D Perspective. You've got Workshop 3D Anatomy. You can see you've got the team links. So there's two boot camps per week. The first one is the seminar, which is that link with Simon. The second one, you're going to spend four weeks in, in 3D anatomy, four weeks in 3D animation, and four weeks in uh, 2D perspective. When it comes to where do you post your homework, can you please go to discussions? Just down, yep. Yeah. Uh, if you click on workshop ePortfolio checkpoint one, right? You are group blue. See that? See how at the top you've got group blue? Yep. You're going to click on that and only the Sydney Melbourne people will be in there. And uh, that will only be you and the instructor online. There'll be nobody else in the classroom, right? That's the blue is only for Sydney and Melbourne. The seminar will be online and in person, but Simon will have teams up on the wall. It'll be in this classroom that you're in right now, and he'll be answering comments live, just like he is right now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Sounds, sounds good. Yeah, and on Wednesday, you'll have me. Uh, I'll be in V1003, also in Teams. You'll be the only ones in the workshop I've called the workshop Siri, C-I-R-I, -I, after the uh, character from The Witcher. And because I think Ask Siri is kind of funny, right? So that's how I can remember that it's you guys. Because So your workshop is called Siri. It's only Sydney, Melbourne, and me. And I'll just be sitting in an office somewhere, chatting with all of you online and looking at your work and going through things, right? So um You'll you'll be in these in these different uh, in these different groups. So you just look for your topic online, then look for your workshop. If you can't find something, don't panic. Everything's being recorded, and just say, uh, Katie, could you please meet me in Teams and show me where this is? Or or Brian or or Tim can send me a message saying we're having trouble finding X. Yep. So if if you guys, so there's a question. Um, so any particular classes where we must come in person for Sydney in particular, right? So if if you guys have a look in your, your timetable, you'll basically see, you know, your four topics in there. So your four topics in your student timetable will be um, BEAD 1003, that'll be 1400, 1402, and CREA 1001. So 
V1003. That will be on Wednesdays, um, 2 till 4, 2.30 till 4.30, Melbourne and Sydney time. All right. Veed 1400. Um, all you need to know for right now is that it'll be Tuesday at 10.30, <laughs> all right, in Melbourne and Sydney. So go to the class for that one. Yeah. And then with 1402, you're going to, in your, in your um, um, student timetable, you can choose which workshop that you're going to do. Right. Um, so um, you'll be able to choose from character design, digital painting, map painting, 3D modeling, and 3D animation. They're on at all different times, and you just pick one. And you go in whenever your your class time is on for, for those ones. Okay. Um, so if we have a look in here, so to find these, all I'm typing into Google, right, is just Flinders. VEED 1402. I'm just typing that into Google because that's the topic code is VEED 1402. Just type in Flinders and it'll be the first thing that pops up, right? And you can click on that. And then in this handbook here, it's kind of important because um, just you've always got to change it to 2023. So don't forget to do that. <laughs> if it's doing weird stuff, it's just because it's not in the right year. And then you want to click on timetable right there. And then that brings up the page that I'm looking at, okay? And then if you look at in-person Sydney, right, or in-person Melbourne, um, the the times are going to pop up. They're all the same. They're all Ad they're all Adelaide times because they'll all be these are all the same classes. Whether you're in Melbourne or Sydney, it's the same class. Okay. Um, so in here, so you'll notice that on your timetable, you've probably picked a workshop, right? And you might have you might have picked that by default, right? But you might have gone, I want to do the one that's two till five on Tuesday, right? Well, the two till five on Tuesday is digital painting. So on your student planner, there's a little eye icon at the bottom. And if you click the eye icon, it tells you which class it is. When you do this on a phone, <laughs> it doesn't show up. It doesn't, it cuts off the, the writing so you can't see. So my solution to that is you come on here. So you just type in V1402 and you can see that workshop two is character design. Workshop four is digital painting, five is 3D modeling, uh, six is 3D animation, and seven is matte painting, okay? So that's that's what these relate to. So you, you're just going to choose one of these, and this will be the time that it's on. All right, guys? Hope that makes sense. And these will be half an hour different. So if it's six till nine, for you guys, it will be 6.30 till 9.30. Yep. All right? And then um, from here, if you go back, I'm just giving you all the options of how you work out this stuff. So if you go back onto the top link template, you can see here, V1402 has those options. There's one wrong in there. Jasmine's fixing it really soon, <laughs> all right? but it's, it's, it's still in there. Um, so there's one wrong, but you can see there, they're the options. Now with these ones, you just pick one in semester one and one in semester two, and you can't do the same one twice. So if you look on here, sorry, Clicking multiple tabs. Sorry, I'm sorry, that's confusing. Um, so you'll see that you've got character design, digital painting, 3D modeling, 3D animation, matte painting. You can just do one of those in semester one and then one of those in semester two, right? So you can plan it. So for example, let's say um, character design ends up being full because sometimes that happens with the with the classes, right? Let's just say, for example, it ends up being full. Well, you could do character design in semester two. So you could choose matte painting in semester one and character design in semester two if that kind of happened first year is the only time we kind of lock it off where you've got to like choose one in one semester one in the other moving forward into second and third year you can you can choose whichever one you want and you can do it like semester after semester that's a really good question frank what is matte painting <laughs> so basically matte painting is creating like backgrounds for movies and with matte painting we kind of use like a bunch of 3d and 2d tools to do matte painting um, and it kind of crosses over into the VFX world. So it's a little bit more technical than, say, digital painting, where, you know, we're just teaching you how to paint in Photoshop, you know, or whatever painting program you're using. So that's a good that's a good question. Um, I would say some people might do digital painting in semester one and matte painting in semester two, or matte painting in semester one, digital painting in semester two, or character design and digital painting. That's good pairing. If you're a 3D modeler, you might do 3D modeling in semester one and then matte painting in semester two. You know, if you're an animator, 
you might do 3D animation in semester one and character design in semester two and do, do a bit of 2D character designing. So yeah, you can kind of choose, you can choose um, through those there. Okay, so uh, Will, whichever works best for your timetable, right? Whatever is gonna work better for you. Up higher, there was a question from someone saying, do I have to come in for class because I live two hours out and that's a really big thing. We have lined up your second boot camp session and beat 1003 on Wednesdays, just one or two hours apart. So that if you are going to want to come in for a day, come in for Wednesday. If it's a two hour drive, maybe say that you want to come in once every two weeks on a Wednesday or once every three weeks on a Wednesday. Just make sure if you're working from home that you don't totally lose contact would be my, my recommendation on that. Uh, it's up to you. We're not going to take roll and we're not going to put a little skull and crossbones next to your name if you're not appearing. But it's one of those funny industries where uh, it, a lot of it is about contacts. And so you want to meet people in the classroom and you want to meet your instructors and you want to meet each other. And it's, I don't know about you guys, but I got two cats, two dogs and a billion fish and a couple 20 year olds and a and so I can say I'm going to work all day and everything else that lives in my house, house can think otherwise. So it, it, sometimes it's good just to get yourself into a different space because you don't get bugged by all the stuff that you get bugged at at, at home. Uh, so whatever works best for you, no one's going to say you have to drive four hours in, in Sydney traffic uh, to attend a one hour class, but just work out for your um, particular learning style, what does it take for you to stay engaged and do what it's going to take for you to stay engaged and, and motivated. Um, okay, if you change your mind early in the semester, would you be able to change? You can move kind of around in topics for the first couple of weeks, but you just pick something that you think you want to do. You know, I, I, if you change, you can, but you're going to be behind and and being behind in something two weeks behind in something is never fun so ideally you'll you'll just pick something that you're gonna like right from right from the start if i'm doing different units to first year in sydney what would be the best way for you to maintain contact with your classmates in sydney well lilith that is a good question and we've just said that they have everything on wednesday so i would say if possible come in on wednesday and just do your work in there on wednesday because you know that they're all going to be there on wednesday um, and in that case, it's a question of emailing Brian or Tim. It's Brian or Tim. Uh, Tim. Tim. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> I'm still working out which one of you is is where. Uh, yeah, and just email Tim and say, Tim, what's a good day for me to come in? Yeah. Yep. And Lilith, you can um, if you send an email to to Jasmine, just info at cwstudios.com, she can make a time for for us to have a meeting, and I can go over because you're you're your course is going to be very different to everyone else <laughs> um, just because the way you've got your credit applied. So we can go over how that's going to work for you, okay? The only topic that you'll be doing along with everyone else is comms, and that's one where people choose the time. So that's the only first year one you'll be doing, Lilith, I believe. That's Lilith. <laughs> and if you whisper, we can still hear you, Kate. Oh. <laughs> okay. But the mic's way over there. I'm on Simon's <laughs> Yeti. Good. No, that's all good. Yeah, we, we'll sort of, it, it'll be, Um, we've actually got, I was telling the the class this morning, we've actually got a student that's in second year that's in, Sing in uh, Singapore. And they've been in Singapore for the entire duration of the course and they're doing really well. So you can do it remotely. There's no problem with that. But it's more that we want you, that that student is very good at being in the classes at the right time engaging in the class, being in the chat, you know, all of those sorts of things. So we've got no problem whether that's online or in person. Um, it's mostly, you know, for Sydney and Melbourne people that are first year students starting out, you know, it's just really great if you can go in because they're all going to be your friends. They're going to be the people that you're, that you like hanging out with. Everyone's going to be into art. <laughs> you're going to be into the same stuff. So, you know, kind of get to know each other, right? And you can, you can hopefully have a really awesome time. Mm -hmm. And someone said how many people are on each of the campuses. And it's kind of funny for us because we have all these students from Sydney and Melbourne, but we don't know if they've moved to Adelaide or if they're still in Sydney and Melbourne. So my guess is probably maybe between seven and 12 on each campus. I'm not sure o over there. It could be bigger. Um, it could be smaller. So, um, you know, 
Yeah. Well, so I, I, I think you're probably about classes of, of 10, 11, 12. We'll know once you all enroll in the Sydney or Melbourne only uh, versions, then we'll know exactly how many are on each campus. But we can't tell just by your addresses. And that, uh, just going back to that subject about coming in or not coming in, but uh, I think, I, I, like I was saying earlier, that there are pros and cons to both, but there's also uh, a struggle for both. And, and for coming into class, the struggle is the physical activity of moving your meat to the meat space, um, but there are benefits to that. While the struggle, if you don't come into the studio, is will you engage uh, at your highest level? Um, and that, you know, you have to uh, work harder um, mentally to make sure that you do engage if you're sitting at home, you know, instead of coming into the, the studio. So be, be aware that both of those have, have a struggle. And as long as you're going to um, uh, meet that struggle properly, you should be right either way. Personally, I'd rather see your wonderful faces in our wonderful studio. Um, but I totally understand, especially if you're, you know, up the coast or down the coast or in the mountains or something that, that takes you a couple of hours to get in. Um, but yeah, just be aware of it. You still have to work hard if you're sitting at home, like mentally and, you know, to somewhat emotionally to make sure you engage properly. Um, we want to make sure that your your uh, your heart and your mind are both engaging with the rest of us if you're sitting at your place while we're sitting uh, in our place. Yeah, sorry to interrupt there. No, no, there's no, it's a, it's a chat. And that, will there be any times when the classes could be open for free study social sessions at all? Of course. And that's just you sitting down and, and talking to Brian and, and talking to Chris. This is Chris. Tim. God. Brian and Tim. <laughs> Look, I can't deal with this mic being on all the time. I'm sorry. We've been doing these sessions like for hours and I'm, I'm frazzled. Feel free to call me Shane. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, of course, you can set up sessions amongst yourselves maybe you want to do a sketch club maybe you want to hit some of the amazing galleries of course you can and there's discords and there's class groups so of course you can set up times outside of class and that's best uh done with your your local studio lead um right here so uh ab absolutely that that should work um you so, get oh, you get yeah. discounts uh from wacom i think there are various sort of discounts that you can get um i don't think it's a huge list but uh no wacom we have we get really good discounts there in the discord group um you can get the student versions of photoshop i think it's like 15 dollars a month with lightroom the subscription there and with zbrush you can get a student uh subscription via maxon um, and then a lot of the other software is free so all of the auto de autodesk software is free um, yeah, so th there's not too many things that you'll need to pay for. And look, if you don't want to get Photoshop, you can get something else. There's plenty of other things mm -hmm. you can use that work fine. Affinity um, often does really good deals. And, and Affinity is pretty powerful now, especially for some of the vector stuff. And it's like a one-off cost. And sometimes you can pick it up for kind of 60, 70 bucks and then, then you own it forever. Uh, we do have, yeah, Affinity's really good. Exactly. And you'll find that in a lot of your classes, your instructor won't mind what software you're using it's just they'll be demoing in one software and they can't really answer about packages that they're not demoing in because that becomes this endless spiral of versions and, and versioning uh, but as long as you can do the project you can be fairly software independent if your instructor is teaching something like this is how you do x in substance you'll probably want to have substance for that but you'll find that for some things probably a, a trial will be long enough. But my recommendation is if you download a trial, look at the due date of the project because you'd rather start it a week or two late and watch the recordings than have your trial run out two weeks before it's due. Yep, and we're getting some really good questions. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a screen grab from Nicholas that's asking about, um, it says, I may sound silly, but is this supposed to be the 3D modeling one? It's under Thursday. So how you check that. So if you go to your timetable, guys, and you can see that it says workshop six, you basically look back on this page and you can see workshop six is Tuesdays two to five 3D animation. 
or click on that little eye on the bottom of the orange. Yeah. Do you see the orange square? There's a little blue eye down there. Right. So it. that little see that little eye for don't, information. Don't see the screen. You can't. <laughs> what? You I can't am, see I Simon's am. screen? Wait. Yeah. What kind of witchcraft no, is this? Right? There you go. Yeah. Bottom left hand corner. Can you see that little Sorry, blue workshop eye? Five. See this eye here? Yeah. That one. If you click that, that should say 3D modeling, or that should give you that extra little bit of text. Yep. So this one's workshop five. And if you go back into here on, on the website, you can see workshop five is 3D modeling six to nine PM. So yeah, you got that right. So that's you're all good. But just make sure you're in the right one that you want to do. <laughs> and then some other questions there. How can we make sure that our timetable is correct and we're registered in the Sydney version? Um, if any of you guys want to send screenshots to Jasmine of your timetable, you totally can and she'll be able to confirm everything with you and, and make sure it's all okay. Um, I'm sure Annie can do that as well. So you can probably either email, you know, Jasmine or Annie. Um, yep. Another really good question was wondering in general, how big is the course load? Um, like how long would you expect us to be working on our assignments each week? Um, so if I, I bring this back up, um, do you want to answer this, Katie, or I may do it? Yeah, usually, sorry, we'll get back to you, Addison. Uh, usually the, the, the ball of thumb, the ball of thumb, the rule of thumb is that uh, it's about six hours per topic per week out of class. So that's on top of the class time. But we do a little bit of what we call load balancing in bead. You have some art topics which are really quite intense like boot camp. You may find that you need to spend more. I know there's one week where you're asked to draw a uh, hundred trees uh, if possible. That's gonna take you a little bit more than six hours if you do all hundred. So you'll find that, that some like boot camp are gonna take up, up slightly more Bead 1003, we balance boot camp with that one. You'll probably be two, three hours a week on that one, maybe four. Depends how seriously you take the tableau. Uh, so you'll find it's meant to be roughly six. The other variable, of course, is some of you do art very, very quickly, and some of you are a lot more kind of precise. I don't know if any of you have been watching the Physical 100, which is this fantastic Netflix series. And if you do figure drawing, you should be watching the physical 100. Um, but they've got all these different kinds of athletes and some of them just approach the tasks really slowly and steadily and some try to sprint through and, you know, everyone works at their own speed at everything, right? So it's always kind of ballpark, but it's meant to be roughly six hours per topic. So if you're doing four topics, that's about 24 hours outside of class time. And I reckon that's probably about right. And the question, another question that we just had, wait a minute. <laughs> I know there was another question about, you know, just which classes that you were doing. So I'll just go over it again. Um, so VEED 1003, that's going to be on Wednesdays, 2.30 to 4.30. Yeah. It's not in the system just yet, but perhaps, you know, check tomorrow or I'm sure, I'm sure Annie will email you guys out when that's ready to go, right? Yeah. Um, then you will do uh, V1400, which is uh, boot camp. That's with myself on Tuesdays starting at 10.30. That's probably like the main, like boot camp has other sessions, but just remember to um, remember Tuesdays at 10.30 and then we'll, we'll go over how, how all of those other sessions work, which will be for you guys, it'll be on Wednesday mornings and you'll be in the blue group, all right? Um, and then you select an option from 14.02. All right, so you select that one. Once again, that will be like one of the CW classes. You go to the class and you can watch that with Brian and Tim. And then Korea 1001, that's a, a Flinders topic. And that one you guys just do online. And you just need to pick the option that works for you guys. It's on It's on a Friday, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, all of those online sessions say they're full. So what Annie said is just enroll in that topic. Don't pick the workshop just yet. And then Annie will work that out for you guys and, and make another time for you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I would say the same as for 1003. I'm setting the time in the timetable for two to four. It says Sydney and Melbourne only. Once you've enrolled in the topic, even if you haven't signed up for a workshop, you're going to be able to see that in Canvas. So you can just show up at the lecture time and show up at two o'clock on Wednesday. 
it says no workshops week one, but I would like to meet with you all week one online, just so that if you have any questions, I can answer them. So I'll be in teams uh, next Wednesday, next Wednesday, two o'clock my time. So that's probably two thirty your time. Uh, and we can just answer questions and I can see how everything's going. And if you need me to follow something up with Annie or anything like that, I can. And it'll just be me and all of you again. Yeah. Oh, so Lilith, I think we'll just like I said before, just if you can just email Jasmine, um, just to info at cwstudios.com, then we can have a meeting and I'll go over all of this stuff with you in the meeting. Lilith, yeah. All right. Yep. Can you get some immediate reminders first week? Um, what do you mean get uh, immediate reminders timetable wise? Um, yeah, I think I can probably make a uh, I can probably make a timetable that's got most of these things on no, it. No, all they need to do if they just like so the Jasmine deals with this stuff all the time. If you're just a bit confused, just do a screenshot of your timetable that you're looking at on your computer, right? Do a screenshot, send it over to Jazz, just be like have I got everything all under control? And she'll answer it in two seconds for you, all right? So you can do that, Will. It's all good. Yeah, like I said, all you got to do, come to um, come to Sydney or Melbourne at 10.30 on Tuesday morning. Tim and Brian will be there, and they'll help you with everything, okay? <laughs> and if you can't go, go Tuesday, watch online through Canvas, yeah. and go in on Wednesday when you'll have me there for 1,003 to answer questions, and you'll also have your your boot, your first boot camp block, either 3D or 2D perspective uh, or bigger. Yep. And and we're sorry at the moment. It's a, it is like a little bit confusing for you guys. You know, also Brian and Tim are just new to this. They're learning the system too. So they kind of, they're just, they're just like, we don't know the answers yet either. Um, but there are people around that really do know the answers, like myself, Katie, um, Shane, Jason, Annie, and Jasmine. They're the people that will know the answers. So if you do have any things you're really concerned about, you know, timetables, anything, just send us the information through and we'll, we'll help yeah. you guys as much as possible. Of course, Lilith, you are allowed to show up at your classrooms anytime you want in Sydney and Melbourne. You might Please just do. want to first check the studio hours to make sure it's going to be there. But yeah, I think next week, totally go Tuesday at 10. Totally, totally show up Wednesday if you want to. If it's yeah. a three hour drive and you don't want to, be there online and meet everyone online. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Please do. So, so finding that timetable, it's super easy, right? You just so Isaac asks, where can I find that table? Just type Google. Google's your friend. Flinders. <laughs> That's the university that you're going to. Veed 1402. You already know the code, right? You just type it into Google and there it is. And you just literally click on there. Right. You change this to 2023. Right, and then you go to timetable on the right hand side. And then you come down here and whether you're in Sydney or Melbourne, you just open that up and it will show you the times. Yep, and that corresponds to your student timetable. So it's just a good way to double check you're in the right one. No, it's all good. Oh, but did you find it the second time, Isaac? Or try Annie's link. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to wait for a little bit to riot. See how your pirate captains are before you uh, before you start hiding the keys under a rock. <laughs> Good. All right. So I, I'll be there online. I'll be just with you chatting. I think that's a really good time to answer questions like how do we do things like electives, uh, which was a really good question. But I think just hold on to a few of those. Let's get through next week, the start of next week first. And I am so happy on Wednesday. I'll be here in Teams. We'll record the sessions. And I'll just always start with a QA. and a And then you can ask things like, how do we work out electives? And which ones do you think are good? And then I'll have my computer on. Uh, we always, if it's any time that ends in 0, 0, you know it ends in a 3, 0 for you, right? So. If I say 10, it's 10.30. If I say 9, it's 9.30. I'm sorry, we're just always going to talk in Adelaide time because if we flip between the two and then <laughs> other lectures don't, it'll just be complete chaos. So it will always, um, we'll always be Adelaide time. It's easier if there's a rule. Yep. 
Yeah, believe it or not, we argued. We actually argued about whether or not we should talk in Sydney and Melbourne time. And then we thought, what about the other lecturers? Because they they won't know to do it. So too hard. So we'll keep it Adelaide. <laughs> and then it's a model. Yeah. Good. Do um does Brian and Tim have any last questions? Oh, wait, thanks, Annie. Fantastic. Yep. And I have everyone's email addresses again on Wednesday. You want to know how to contact Jazz or Annie? I can put together a, a Word doc that these guys can print out and put on the wall. Of, sorry, I'm so old, aren't I? I'm talking about printing things out and putting them on the wall. It's okay, they got printers. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know, and then these guys can, and then you can just have the contact sheet. Just let us know what information you're looking for and can't find, and we can just make you a cheat sheet. Yeah, Brian and Tim, do you guys have any questions? Are you all good? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty good. Good. Yeah, maybe just uh, make sure you join the Discord groups. So then we can just contact you with anything. Yeah, so we've got the CW um, Discord group. So yeah, you can just you can get to that link via the website, and once you're in there, um, you know you get access to all of the all of the information. So that's a really good one to join. Mm -hmm. uh, Jazz is probably is Jazz emails or Discord. Uh, either either is fine. Yeah. She she watches the Discord, and if you post something in CW questions, it'll either be myself or Jasmine answering. <laughs> and uh, Simon will uh, answer in Discord. I will not answer in Discord. I have too many things beeping in my life without the addition of Discord. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm more of an email person, but I I try to be pretty quick on that. Yep. And for you guys in Sydney and Melbourne specifically, both Brian and Tim are, are on Discord. So if you do run any, into any troubles, we're we're creating like some specific Sydney and Melbourne groups. So yeah, you'll be able to kind of just ping them in Discord and you know ask some questions as well. Yeah. So just stay patient with some of that stuff, and we'll we'll get it sort of worked out over the weekend. And and then like I said, you know Monday you've got the lecture with Shane, nine thirty, and then Tuesday, ten thirty. You're going to have the, the class with me. So that's all you really need to worry about for right now. And then we'll get, you know, so for example, when you come in on on um, on Tuesday at 10.30, you know, we'll have sort of like some printed out sheets and stuff so that you can see the timetables and Brian and Tim will know when you're meant to be in next and all of that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I know which ones will be recorded and which ones will be live online. So I'm really happy to kind of pull that together for you so you know whether or not you're just going to be watching it or there's a chance for interaction yeah good cool all right i think i think that's it everyone and uh like i said if you've got any questions just please let us know um send us screenshots of timetables and things like that and we can get you guys sorted as much as possible because we want it to be as smooth as possible for you for you all all right so yeah thank Let, you let's just say me sitting on the floor so that simon can look at the camera on my laptop this is not how this is i'm way too <laughs> old to be sitting on my knees on the floor for an we'll, hour we'll make sure we have yeah, a webcam yeah, by this, tuesday this, this all, yeah yeah this, this is this is not a preview of coming attractions right here <laughs> all right thanks everyone you're, you're free to go thanks everyone hey See you on Wednesday online.